Good morning. I'm John Altman. I'm a member of the City of Phoenix Military Veterans Commission. I'm also a National Vice President of the Association of the United States Navy. With me today to make a presentation to Mayor Stanton is Charles Bradley, our National President of the Association of the U.S. Navy. Uh, Brad has uh, wisely made the choice to get on a plane from Providence where it was 27 degrees to come to Phoenix and be our uh, guest today and to make a pr uh, presentation to the Mayor. Also with us, I'd like to recognize uh, Stella Reyes, our, uh, Stella is a Phoenix resident and is our National Vice President for Retired Affairs. Uh, captain Carol Culbertson, a longtime Phoenix resident, retired Navy captain, and is the president of our Phoenix chapter. And Lynn Bennett, who is still serving as a lieutenant commander in the Navy Reserve, is our chapter vice president here. And I'm going to now introduce uh, Charles Bradley, an old shipmate of mine and old friend, and our national president, Charles. Thank you, John. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I prefer he emphasized the word friend rather than old. <laughs> uh, just for a moment, I'd like to tell you about the Association of the United States Navy. We're a veteran service organization whose primary mission is to advance the interests of the United States Navy and to protect the rights and benefits of its sailors. Our secondary mission is to advocate strongly and actively before Congress and other public bodies for the welfare of all military veterans and their families. We are extremely proud to be here this morning to honor Mayor Greg Stanton and his quest to end chronic veterans homelessness in Phoenix. Uh, John has already introduced the members of the AOSN group that were here this morning, except for the fact that he did not uh, mention uh, Chief Petty Officer Doreen Hamilton, who is with us. She is a, still a drilling member of the Naval Reserve, and she and John both serve as commissioners on the City of Phoenix Military Veterans Commission. Since his election to some two years ago, Mayor Stanton has been committed to making Phoenix a welcoming place for military veterans and their families. As such, he recognized and took ownership of a problem which is often ignored, that of resettling chronically homeless veterans, and made it a priority of his administration. As was recently reported in the Arizona Republic, the mayor, in company with other local and federal officials and advocates, set a goal of housing over 200 chronically homeless veterans. With determination and, comp and compassion, Mayor Stanton drove hard for a quick solution. His goal was effectively reached by mid-February of this year. These veterans are now permanently housed in apartment complexes across the valley. Under the mayor's leadership, Phoenix has become the very first United States city to summarily end chronically homeless homelessness among veterans. We realize, as the mayor has stated, that this is not the end of the road, but the start of a larger process. We hope our award shines additional light on his leadership and that other American communities will see a solution which is not only within reach, but is also achievable within a short period of time. The award of distinction, which we are so deservedly presenting this morning, to Mayor Greg Stanton is presented to an elected official or community leader whose actions have distinguished him or herself as a leader in the performance of a service that has provided significant assistance in resolving a need that con confronts veterans and or their families. Mr. Mayor, you've served these veterans with the same dedication that they employed while serving our great country. And for that, the Association of the United States Navy salutes you. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much. I'd like to now read the, the, the citation on the plaque. 
National Award of Distinction. Know all present by these, all persons by these presents that the Honorable Greg Stanton, Mayor of the City of Phoenix, Arizona, is presented this National Award of Distinction in recognition of his leadership, commitment, and dedication in achieving a solution to the chronic homelessness of military veterans in the greater Phoenix area. Through Mayor Stanton's initiative in using a nationally recognized program, the City of Phoenix has, over the last two years, aggressively pushed to make the, take the most vulnerable veterans off the streets. His continuous attention to this challenge recently gained the City of Phoenix the distinction of being recognized as the first U.S. city to house all locally identified chronically homeless veterans, a major step toward ending chronic homelessness among veterans across our country. On behalf of our sea service members, the Association of the United States Navy commends and salutes Mayor Stanton for his diligence in assisting those military veterans who needed a helping hand. Bravo Zulo. Presented 26 March uh, 2014. For those of you who are not uh, Navy oriented, Bravo Zulu is a flag uh, uh, flag position that rec uh, represents well done. Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much, uh, President Bradley. I am incredibly grateful for this honor, and it means so much that you traveled uh, all the way across our country to personally present uh, this award to me, to the people of the city of Phoenix, to the staff here of the city of Phoenix, and really an award to uh, the entire team that made this happen in our uh, community. The city, the county, state and federal governments, working with our great nonprofit partners and the faith uh, community. It really was a team effort to get the job done. I have to tell you that I accept this award on behalf of many, many people. I'm deeply proud that our city, Phoenix, was the first to end chronic homelessness among the veteran population, and it took literally hundreds of people to get the job done. From counting our, our veterans who unfortunately were on the streets, to getting them the initial assistance, to getting them housing, and in some cases, getting veterans the jobs that they so uh, deserve. The work of so many people made this possible because we as a community believe that if you have worn this nation's uniform, you should never be relegated to sleeping on the streets. And most importantly, uh, what we accomplished here in Phoenix sends a message to every city, to every community, that this challenge, which may have seemed impossible is now something that we can take on successfully, that ending chronic homelessness among our veterans can be done. Still, we have to remain vigilant. This is an important milestone, but it does not mean that we have solved homelessness or even homelessness among veterans. There is still a lot of work to do. We have to recommit ourselves to doing more, to learning from this, and to put them to use uh, in the future. We know that there are more veterans coming home from the conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. We know that, unfortunately, some of those veterans are going to end up on our streets. And we as a city, we in, in partnership with our nonprofits, with our health care providers, with the VA, with our faith community, uh, we plan to be ready to do all we can to help uh, our veterans. So again, President Bradley, uh, to your association, to your members, to the vice presidents who are uh, here up at the podium with me. This is a great honor for me personally, but I humbly accept it on behalf of everyone, the entire team uh, that made this happen here in the city of Phoenix. Thank you so very much for this very nice recognition. President Bradley also presented me, uh, I ca caught me off guard a little bit with a beautiful coin on behalf of the uh, Association for the United States um, uh, Navy. Thank you, President Bradley. Thank you for your your vigilance and your leadership on this. And, and just as a concluding note, while we're a Navy-centric organization, thousands of sailors 
and other sea service members deployed to Iraq and have deployed to Afghanistan in many roles. It, uh, Afghanistan may not have oceanfront property, but thousands of uh, sailors in the roles of combat engineers, intelligence, cryptologics, uh, medical service, and other roles have gone forward, it, uh, along with Marines and joining their counterparts in the Air Force, Coast Guard, and the Army in the front lines. And when they come home and they're injured mentally or physically, so a good per a number of them we're finding end up on the street. Mayor Stanton's leadership to help in that has been profound. <clears throat> and Mr. Mayor, we thank you for that. And thank you all for coming today.